I felt as though I always had to be a certain person to please others. You know, that good little girl, the one that listens the fuck up and does as she's told. I'm sharing this deeply because I want you to know how much this impacted not only my life, but also my first pregnancy and birth, which was an absolute shit show. I was brought up in South Africa by very strict Portuguese parents with a very firm belief that working hard was what was what was what called in financial stability. Even the school I attended added fuel to the programming that I already had. It's your typical entry point onto the conveyor belt system of be a certain way birth a certain way and live a certain way the programming that has to shift is 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 me creating the safety within and letting myself know that it's okay that i am entitled to be able to speak my truth also that whatever i say it's not wrong thing and if that person does say something we can have a conversation about it and maybe i'll learn something new or or not and i'm going to share something because I think it's relevant. Um, but yesterday morning, I got an email for a bill that I still hadn't paid yet. It was outstanding. I didn't have the money to pay it. When I got the email, I freaked out, literally. Tears in my eyes, crying. I was like, oh my God, what am I going to do? And then I remembered, oh, hang on, I've got a couple hundred quid coming into my account. And when I came back, there was an, a message from a client of mine saying she had just transferred the rest of the balance from her doula package, which was, <laughs> and it covered the, that bill as well as another bill that I had to pay and another bill that I had to pay. And I was like, oh my God, like I was just so grateful. I couldn't believe that that had happened. Chick bullet is you, which is why the Awakened Wealth Blueprint starts within you, in your inner world, creating coherence beginning to come back to your true authenticity and beginning to learn how to create, not with your conscious mind, but with your alpha mind, with your super conscious mind. I guess it's like the falling into the trust um, part that, yeah, because before I used to tell myself a story of, oh, it's the 15th of May, there's no way I'm going to reach that goal. But now I choose to tell it differently. I look at it as if to say, oh, it's the 15th of May. Cool. I've still got 15 days to, to show up and, and, you know, things can still change. Like things can change on the very last day. You just need to keep going. You need to keep going. And that's why so many people <clears throat> fail to make it in business because they give up right before they're about to go and, and make it, right? I mean, I could have given up, but I kept going. And through every other part where I felt the discomfort, I've kept going. Clients like Carmen get to really go deep into the next phase of the journey, which is where we begin your brand rebirth. We start to align your business to a radical expression of the soul's truth. And we begin to bring in what I call the personal story formula, which is your entire history all of the experiences that you have gone through that you were meant to go through to get you to where you are and you're meant to take the wisdom forward. So we really dig into this beautiful brand rebirth, beautiful brand alignment and your brand story as we begin to go deeper into your soul pilgrimage. I think it's the whole, the whole element of the fear, the discomfort, the putting something uh, <laughs> bigger out there um, and showing up like as a different identity um, and what I'm offering. This is the ritual of initiation to a tidal wave of sales and opportunities. You have to step into a fire that changes every level of your being and burns your old patterns, default expectations, and all of your programmed judgments and assumptions to the ground, just like a baptism of fire.
run, little girl, bang, hustle. Huh?